hello i have taken it upon myself to educate you that is watching this video on how best to mind your business occasionally when you see a very pretty lady with a tennis ball head passing by she is my best friend and her name is jennifer and she's very pretty she's a skincare therapist hopefully and she will give your skin that shine that it needs <laughs> it's important that you know and learn how to mind your business sometimes there's there's strangers who just bump on your page they don't know you they don't know anything about you they just assume and they flip all over the place like fam you're in my social space you know that i pay data for to enjoy to the best of my knowledge and cretins rats would come on your page to infest and litter the place with stupid comments me when she was burying your placenta she buried it with your brains you never can tell you need to go and check that with that at three my brother my sister it is not too late to find out what's wrong with you and how to act accordingly no you know it might seem like I am here to insult you. I actually do have your best interests at heart. Yes, I do. <clears throat> we have the Tani mentality. Tani means the average Nigerian idiot. The average Nigerian idiot. Trust me, I feel like the average Nigerian mentality is the lowest mentality we have in the entire world. So if you have more stupidity or more foolishness in your area, please bring it on. Let's do some comparison to check. But I am very sure that even if Nigeria is not the country with the lowest mentality, I would say it is one of the countries with the lowest mentality. So, Itani can be anybody. Itani can be anybody. Not just in Nigeria. So sometimes, I don't want to say, like, I don't want to push people to the idiot category or to the show their idiocy. Lesson one, if somebody posts a picture of their boobs, there are three options. One, admire. Two, state your um, problems in a polite manner as you would like to be spoken to and three walk away don't be an idiot walk away if you don't have anything nice or anything politely put to say remember you cannot now tell people ig the person you are trying to be stupid to how to react to your stupidity because these people can either delete your comments and block you, respond in a polite manner to warn you off, or give you back your own dose. So however they choose to do that, it's left for them. They were just minding their business, posting their life, posting whatever it is that makes sense to them. If it don't make sense to you, if you think that it's absolute rubbish, oh friend, block, move on. If you think that this person, this thing is saying lies, bring your facts. Remember, if you catch a tiny anywhere sniffing or smelling around your comment section, deal with them however, however you want to deal with them. The phone is yours, the data is yours, and the content is yours. Deal with them however you think would be best. Thank you for coming to my first class of minding your business. Hmm? Wait for subsequent episodes. Thank you.